Hello and welcome to a new video about my Auger car. This time I want to put the program, the, the, the inputs with the, with the joystick again, so that I can regulate the speed of my drives X and Y with the joystick. This is today's goal, okay? So, however, I want to use my, my own libraries, therefore. I want to use my smoother library, so I'm going to add my smoother library here. Smoother, where's the smoother? Zero scale. Hmm. Smoother. Adding the smoother. All right. To use the smoother, I have also to add the parameters because it's working with parameters parameters and also the verbose, my verbose library, all those libraries I'm going to use. So let's start. First, um, I will also, I will copy this from the old program. So I have here my X and Y analog in, then I use a verbose. I will not store this in, in, in EEPROM because I don't simply don't need it. Verb and I will use a constant and it must be byte, of course. Okay. Define some constants for parameters. Good, so the parameters, then uh, parameter params are uh, parameter of set and parameter number. I'm not going to use any, any name, parameter names or something like this, just use this one. Then I have here the two smoothers, smoother, smoother it's called of course. Smooth X. Parameter and the debug board for outputs. Parameter, parameter offset and the debug board for outputs. And then we have smooth Y. Oops, where, where have we gone? Where have we gone? Good. I will set this, these smoother values. Maximum jump was four. And this was the count. I will use five. And now for Y as well. I wonder if this should be the same parameter set of parameters, but whatever. All right. Now I have to read in the value. I have to read in the value, which is if I'm not touching. So we will call it int uh, calibration x and int calibration y. Because this is actually the zero position. I will read this in here. I will say Cal x equals analog read, analog in x, x, and y, and the smoother value, set to value calibration x to have a start value. Set x and y to a, to a starting point. All right, that's it. So in loop, I now have, this should not be static anymore, this is now speed x, and I also have a speed y. Ooh, I have now also here, uh, step timeout x, step timeout y, 
this I don't need anymore. This I also don't need. Then have then we have pulse on x, pulse on y, and then we have an int speed x, and this is a, a smooth smooth x gets smooth and analog read. This is good. I read in two different speeds. I'm smoothing the two speeds and that's it. If speed change x timed out. This I don't need anymore. If speed x smaller than zero. No. Step time out x. That's the correct one. That's the correct one. This I don't need this, I need. Then I speed x. No, this is this is not speed x. I must. This is x axis. This is y axis. I must calculate the speed out of those two. Yeah? I am going to calculate speed x equals hmm, x-axis minus calibration x yeah and then it's maximum 512 512 uh, 512 let's see where is the calculator here uh, 512 speed maximum should be 10,000 divided by 512 is 19.5. So I will multiply this with 19.5 and then it's integer anyway. All right. Then we should have between minus, minus 100 or almost 100 up to 100. This is what we, what we wanted. So if speed x smaller than speed x all right, this stuff I need here. This I no longer need. If the timeout, if a timeout occurred and x is smaller than zero, yeah, pulse on. But I will make here if speed is bigger than 50, the absolute value of speed. So that I have a little bit dead zone around the middle of my, of my. Then I will make this. I will clean this out afterwards because Whew. okay, and now for the y-axis, exactly the same for the y-axis. Here I only need the y-axis. Oh, else I will simply not write anything. This is good. If the speed is below 50, 0 to 5 percent, I will simply write no pulses at the output. Step timeout y. Okay. Also clean out the x now. So here we only have x. All right. All right. This is looking nice, hopefully. Let's see. Let's see if I can. I can try it. Download it? No. Ooh, some error. Of course there's some error. Okay, uploading. Power. Ah, does something. Okay, I will move this a little bit in this direction. Okay, this is turning. I move further. Faster. 
Ah. And now in the other direction. Oh, it's put it in the other direction. Hmm, it's a little bit sensitive. This one? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the just dividing is not a good idea. I have to somehow re calculate this better. But actually I can control very slow movement and very fast in one direction, very slow movement. And very fast, faster movement, <laughs> also in this direction. Yes. Slow, fast, slow, fast, ooh, and now both, one direction, <laughs> all right, looking a little bit strange, but I think it should do what it does. How this is working, how this is looking. If we have really these auger drives, I'm already eager to know. I'm already eager to know. Yeah? Therefore, some parts have already arrived, but not yet fully arrived everything. Yeah? But actually I can control now the two drives with my joystick and select the speed. We'll see. <laughs> see. Next step then, we'll try this, try it, print the parts out, assemble and try it. But this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.